real answers to your real estate questions. I'm Donnie Bennett from the Donnie Bennett team here at Blackstone Ocean Properties in Warwick, Rhode Island. And we've got dedicated team members in Massachusetts too. We cover Rhode Island and Mass, don't forget that. And it's time for a little Real Estate 101. If you're thinking about putting your home on the market in the near future, and you might want to consider and avoid some of the most common mistakes that home sellers make. Before I get right into it, don't forget to click that like, share, follow, or subscribe button and stay up to date on weekly advice and information that will help you power on through every part of the home buying or home selling process. Along the way, we'll have great local spotlights as well, so stay tuned to the channel for that. And now, today's topic for common mistakes that sellers make, mistake number two being nose blind to pets and smoking. Not everyone's a pet lover or a smoker. Many people are allergic to cats or dogs or have sensitive noses that can smell urine or stinky litter boxes or even evidence of past smoking, even if all those odors are emanating from the other side of the house. If you're a smoker and you plan to sell, the time is now to start practicing your habit outside and away from the door that way, you'll minimize the smoke blowing back into the house and you'll minimize the opportunity for that to stick to the walls. If you have pets, then you really have to make the home look and smell as if no pets ever stepped foot in the home. And that's hard, I know. Your cat's favorite spot on the couch that's coated with maybe inches of matted fur needs to be scraped off, possibly with a, a lint roller or some tape if you have to. Duct tape works well. The food bowls, cat trees, pet toys, pet beds, scratching posts, cat condos, and so on should all be out of sight. So do the fur babies themselves. I know it's hard. I know it's definitely difficult to do that. It's not ideal. Maybe it's even impossible in some cases, but as far as litter boxes go, you could just put that inside a garbage bag, store it in a garage or a closet, someplace out of sight and smell. And um, probably most importantly, before you leave, make sure your backyard is free of any landmines because that will seriously ruin a showing completely if someone found it by accident. And even worse, you wouldn't want them tracking any of that back into your home out of spite possibly. And smokers, you might want to seek out an impartial third party who doesn't smoke, someone you trust to be truthful, maybe like your real estate agent, for instance, to tell you if the house is in need of a cleansing or to eliminate the smell of smoke as well. When a buyer leaves, they're gonna remember their first impression. So you want it to be a good one. Odors can be a deal breaker, even if everything else about your home is completely perfect. So just to recap, avoid being nose blind to pets and smoking. Minimize the presence of your pets, get an honest second opinion about odors so that you can address and minimize their impact on the impression of your home. So if you think there's some other topic that we should add to the list of mistakes that sellers make, or if you're looking to buy or sell a home, I'm only a phone call away. 401-269-9615 or log on to my dot com, blackstoneocean.com. I'm Donnie Bennett from Blackstone Ocean Properties. Reach me anytime for real estate in the ocean state.